ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไม่ได้ไ
you don't need to be stressed out you have to just be patient because only the patience would help you whenever you feel stressed out try to calm down and concentrate in whatever you are doing because it's very stressful and very painful period it takes three months to get your registration because and you have to keep tracking also we can keep tracking how, how much is the uh, step and how much is the process that you have gone through like, well, or you can mbid and as your website said london again you have a by january i call so this is the gantore uh, this letter i got it my decision letter then the corona hit in 2020 march call and then there is no job recruitment in anywhere so this is so i have to wait wait and sit down and wait the nmb but be careful also the nmb i mean whatever that decision letter it valid for only one year so i was also so stressed because uh, we don't know when is the corona going to end so when um, by the end of 2020 uh, November uh, there is a job recruitment uh, from Ireland have they call job recruitment lay in for I can talk about how have a power of the year I started emailing the IITR agency again back because uh, by the by the time I have I was still working and I had been one year working in the previous hospital then uh, then we have to mail the agency many times because sometimes they may not see sometimes they may uh, I don't know what I would say that you have to keep mailing them then I was mailing them again and again again and again without any sample uh, so you don't need, no, you don't need to be sample for that so so I keep mailing them then in November I got a a job offer that there is a, kind of a job recruitment uh, for Ireland then I submitted my CV but I failed because of the fact that my CV was so rubbish I was not so professional in writing my CV so uh, it was rejected then I and in the second after one month again in the December I got another job appointment job letter I mean job offer job recruitment that uh, they are recruiting in Wexford Hospital where I'm working still so I wrote my CV well so you have to write well your CV in a professional manner then they accepted my CV then I got a mail that I have to attend an interview in February that is in 2021 it's all I have wasted so many years almost two years but uh, I don't regret really because I have learned through, I have learned so many things within that period. Then by 2021 in February, I was interviewed by the Wexford uh, managers. Uh, I mean, for 40, 50 minutes uh, through face-to-face -face Skype interview. And on the same day, I have I mean, they will ask some 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 kind of uh, job-related uh, interview only like. Uh, but before that your agency will send you some of the details and some of the questionnaire that you need to prepare before the interview they will guide you all right don't worry about that like uh, you know it's all related to the job so you are familiar with that so on the same day i got a result that from my agency they had been selected then i was so happy that was my happiest moment because i had been waiting for two years then in the next in the next, on the next day uh, there was a mail uh, that they have sent me about whether I am I willing to sit for an exam that is aptitude test that will be held in uh, April. So aptitude test is a type of exam that was that is supposed to be done here in Ireland for every nurse who ever come from foreign country they are testing our theory as well as the practical and the way how, because the practice is a little bit different i i mean the basic are the same but the practice is a little bit different so they want to test us so we have to write an aptitude test both practical and theory here so i got a mail that are you willing to sit for an exam in april then obviously yes i said yes then after that uh, uh, the process started 
then that's again one stressful time because I got I had been selected in February so I had to go in April at that time still there was a corona uh, peak season uh, yeah so then uh, the we have to do uh, many uh, verification like we have to update our passport police they want a police verification from India then also they will ask for this uh, uh, typical working scheme that is we have to do everything through online they will send you a link that is INIS, um, inisonline.com this is kind of working visa uh, platform where we have to register that we are com coming here in Ireland as a working visa so it will cost you around 250 euros in order to register here with that only we can come here in Ireland that is the working visa then after that uh, we have to do this pre health assessment also that we are fit to work in Ireland called healthy blood some of the blood tests like uh, all our the uh, full blood count then TB tests then MMR tests then also x-ray tests these are some of the pre-health medical checkup tests and we have to get a certification that we are fit to work from the non-physicians then only we have to send to the agency which will be sent to the hospital whomever there you have been recruited then after that after all these verifications i started now my visa my visa uh, i got my visa appointment in because i took uh, i was staying in delhi still so i took my visa appointment in delhi only so everything it it was a little bit stressful because i was I, I don't have anyone whom i can get help because uh but uh i i, I don't like i have one friend uh, who was uh, uh who is from kerala and she was helpful in an mbi uh while uh, an mbi registration the, she is the only one helping me while doing my registration in an mbi after that, uh, it was myself and the IITR that was helping me. And I don't know anything about Ireland and I don't have any people here living in Ireland. So there was a little bit stressful while I was walking through all the documents and all those things. It was, uh, we don't, I don't have much more idea about all these things. Just whatever they ask, I just follow their rules and their steps only. Just give me a break. I'm a little bit exhausted. And then, uh, after this all bizarre process and I finish ending, then the agency will share you some of your flight med whom you're going to work or you're going to come together. So luckily I got uh, one of my, my friends from Nagaland, Norris Sis Litsubi. I got her and she's uh, the one whom I can really share all my personal things so now she's one of my best friends and she's from Nagaland and we were we were supposed to travel together but unluckily she was you know, traveling with me and, and then well, we, we were we arrived here in April uh, in 7 then we have to do a quarantine for 14 days and we wrote exam 26 then uh, it, during the preparation for this aptitude test it's also kind of a little bit stressful because of the fact that uh, they allow only two attempts and if we fail we have to come back to india so that was also another stressful thing then but anyway we pass everyone pass whom we know each other we we prepare together a lot with them while we were in quarantine means like in open field we go to the open field we were quarantined in the city ways so uh, then yeah that's how i have arrived here and how i have been working here it's been one and a half year and hopefully uh, everyone had with the my am don't be stressed out. I know everyone is, I'm, te I'm telling you very easily, but now I know it will be a little bit stress and a little bit struggle. Stressful and a little bit struggle. 
so you have come through all this way so you don't give up and uh, you know and you have to work hard you have to struggle because at the end you will get the fruitful having no matter no matter my son and my mother my mother the uh you have to be persistent you have to be very patient patience is very important and i hope all the best and i welcome everyone in ireland and ireland is a beautiful and quiet place and people here are very loving and and very friendly so i will end up my vlog here thank you for watching my video and and Please do like and subscribe to my video. Bye-bye.